Today's episode is entitled, Why Your Doctor Thinks You're Stupid. And so what we're going to look into is uh, there's many doctors and health professionals that are reluctant to give health of the advice uh, because they're not willing to live by those exact same standards. So before we go ahead and get started here today, let me introduce myself. My name is Christopher Brown from alphalifestyleacademy.com. Now, if you have any questions about anything that we're gonna talk about in today's episode, just uh, reach out to our support staff and you'll find a little chat box down in the bottom right-hand corner of the webpage. And so, like I said, uh, reach out to us, ask your questions, and we'll get your issues addressed. So let's dive into this. This article examines the paradox of professionals who fail to practice what they preach, focusing particularly on doctors. Despite possessing knowledge about leading a healthy lifestyle, many doctors neglect their own well-being. Surprisingly, doctors with poorer health tend to be reluctant to provide health advice to their patients. Additionally, the article highlights how American health guidelines are often lowered because council members doubt the public's ability to meet high standards. The public's perception of doctors' prestige outweighs the importance of leading by example. The article urges individuals to seek doctors who lead by example and emphasizes the significance of personal empowerment and research in making informed decisions about healthcare standards. Now, before we continue, it's very important that we eat well, we work out, we exercise, we live a healthy life, but there are other factors. And so there are personality traits that are the greatest predictors of disease. And if you wanna find out if you have any of these traits and what to do about it, just click on the banner that you see down below or you can go ahead and visit traitsofdisease.alphalifestyleacademy.com. My mom had some of these traits. She died at 59, so it's very important that we figure out beforehand if we have any of these traits. Now, back to the article. Do as I say, not as I do. You know the famous saying, do as I say, not as I do? Well, it seems like some people in certain industries take this way too seriously. I mean, seriously, doctors are supposed to be the health gurus, but many of them don't even practice what they preach. It's mind boggling. And get this, because some patients are in better shape than their doctors, these doctors actually hesitate to give them the health advice they need. Can you believe it? A recent study from Hopkins confirmed that doctors' own health and body weight can impact the quality of care they provide. So if a doctor is a bit of a mess themselves, they might hold back in giving you the advice you need. Talk about a poor example. American doctors are a poor example. We're diving into some serious stuff here. It turns out that those American health guidelines we're all supposed to follow well, they're lower than they should be. Why? Because some council members think we can't handle the high standards. So they take the easy way out and lower the bar. Talk about taking the path of least resistance. And here's the kicker. When it comes to healthcare, us Americans have this weird notion that being a doctor automatically makes someone credible. We trust them blindly, even more than our own ability to think for ourselves. It's like we're handing over the reins of our lives to these medical professionals. You know, Robert Kiyosaki, the financial guru, he talks about how many financial advisors are just smooth talking salespeople. We look to them for guidance, thinking they're leading us to financial success. But guess what? They often have a conflict of interest. They might not offer the best solutions for us because they're more focused on what benefits them not us. And guess what? Doctors can be guilty of the same thing. When we're sick, they tend to whip out their prescription pads or recommend some harsh medical procedure because, well, that's what they sell. It's like running a business, not always putting our best interests first. But here's the truth, my friends. Doctors are salespeople in disguise. They're in it to make money, just like anyone else. So we can't always assume their recommendations are in our best interest. We need to be smart, do our own research, and question their suggestions. Death by medicine. You know those medical professionals we trust with our lives? Well, here's a little secret. 
they're not just in it for our well-being. They're running a business. And that business is all about making money. Shocking, right? In this mind-blowing documentary called Death by Medicine, they uncovered a pharmaceutical company that had a whopping 49,000 health professionals on their payroll. And what were these folks doing? Pushing drugs onto their patients. Talk about a twisted game. But hold on to your chimichangas because it's going to get even crazier. There's a sweet little governmental website where you can dig into how much money these big pharma companies are throwing at doctors in the good old US of A. All you need is a practitioner's name and bam, it breaks down all the dirty little details. You'll see which companies have been lining their pockets and the nature of those payments. We're talking about consulting fees, research moolah, travel and lodging expenses, grants, and even food and drinks. It's like a buffet of corruption. And get this, you can also check out how much these companies have dished out in total. Take Purdue Pharma, the folks behind OxyContin. For example, they coughed up a staggering $10,977,788 in payments. And guess what? Nearly 60% of that cash was spent on compensation for services other than consulting. Yeah, they're not fooling anyone. So my friends, don't be fooled either. Peel back the curtain. Do your own research and uncover the truth. These medical professionals might not always have your best interest at heart. Stay vigilant, stay informed, and never let them play you like a chump. And remember, you can find all the juicy details at openpaymentsdata.cms.gov forward slash search forward slash companies and dive in and let the truth set you free or if you're watching this video or listening to this in our workbook or in our blog, we've placed a link inside there as well. Finding healthy doctors. Step number one, find yourself a doctor who actually practices what they preach. Thanks to technology, you've got the power to dig up some dirt on these guys. Check out their pictures and see if they work out, eat healthy, and most importantly, what kind of health advice they recommend. You don't want some couch potato telling you to hit the gym, do you? Step two, knowledge is power, my friends. Take control of your own life and don't let anyone take advantage of you, whether it's a healthcare provider or your financial guru. You gotta be in charge. Remember, everyone has their own health standards, so figure out what works for you. And finally, don't just blindly accept the standards your doctor throws at you. Do some research, people. We've provided you with the tools to make informed decisions. Take charge of your health standards and set them for yourself. Trust me, it's worth it. So there you have it, straight from the mouth, or text I guess, of yours truly. Go out there, find yourself a doctor who walks the talk and empower yourself with knowledge. Never settle for less. Now before you use the database, there are a few things you need to understand. Primarily, just because your doctor has received money from a pharmaceutical company, it doesn't mean that they're stooges from some evil pharmaceutical giant. The majority of the money is likely completely innocent and simply the way business is done, to buy and sell drugs, just like any product. Companies send sales representatives to potential buyers, in this case, doctors. The fear for some people is, these big pharma companies have bought off doctors into buying large amounts of certain drugs that could hypothetically lead the doctor to pressuring and prescribing certain type of drugs regardless of whether it's medically or scientifically the best option. However, there are laws in place to limit this from happening. However, that does not mean that it does not happen. Conclusion. Now it's always best to eat well, exercise, and to take care of our health. However, there are certain personality traits that are the greatest predictors of disease and an early death. My mom had one of these traits. She died at 59 and was sick for a good 10 years, if not more. So I wanna invite you to take your personality test to see if you have any of these traits. And if you do, don't worry about it because we'll walk you through on how to reverse them or how to take care of them. And you can do so at traits of disease dot alpha lifestyle academy dot com 
or if you're watching this video on our site, you can just scroll down the page and click on the banner that you see down at the very bottom of the page. Now, I had a blast recording this video for you here today. Take care, everyone. Have a great day, and we will see you in our next episode. Bye-bye now.